Hi everyone, welcome to Twilight Survivors. I'm Dr. Dog Plays. Uh, I saw this recently pop up on Steam and I thought, you know what, I hope it's nothing connected with the films because I've never watched them. Uh, I'm a lucky man. Uh, we're going to dive in and check it out though. Uh, you can check it out in the link in, as well for yourselves uh, in the description. It's only a couple of quid at the moment. It is on sale as well. Um, and it's just standard action roguelike fare, at least and that's how it appears to be by the Steam page. I've bought it kind of sight unseen. I don't know anything about this apart from what it says on the Steam page. And it looks a little bit fun. So let's go in and have a look. Okay then. Um, <laughs> his voice is awesome. What the heck are you? Some crazed goji berry or something. Right, okay. Well, let's go with the first character. Uh, Lilia. Melee, high attack power, enhanced AoE attacks. Strikes the targeted area. Okay. Uh, Quaking Earth. Oh, hello. Ooh, stick man. Looks like a snowman. Uh, right, we'll go here then. We're the last 12 minutes. That's you dead. Ah. So I can right stick to aim where I need to go. That's a level up. Right. Uh, the interface, this interface is the upgrade page for weapons and skills where you can choose to uh, upgrade or acquire one of them. Yellow cards represent weapons while blue cards represent skills. Uh, after reaching maximum level, weapons can be combined with designated skills or their corresponding counterparts to grant you super weapons. I like combinations. That's very good. Okay, cool. I'm happy with that. I've just chosen one in the middle there. Another level up. Uh, air blast could be good. Let's go. Let's no critical damage is fine. Hey, level up so quick. Bottled lightning sounds good. Uh, damage reflection. No, let's go bottled lightning. I'd like some sort of visual representation of when I'm going to attack because it seems to be before my hammer comes down. <laughs> Uh, fountain creates a water spout beneath a randomly selected enemy. Let's go. Thank you. I think I already have some healing going on, which is good. Oh, you're moving fast. There we go. Right, fountain area of effect plus 25%. I think that sounds really good. Uh, damage interval. Let's take damage interval. Oh, I've got a dash. My RT. Of course, if you're playing a mouse and keyboard, it may be different. Uh, let's increase the call or decrease the cooldown rather on that. That's a lot of XP. What are these goblos? Ouch. He hit me. I didn't like that. I like how it pushes him into the air. That's very good. There's been a lot of care taken with the graphics on this one. Uh, let's go. Ooh, hammer strike. More. Yes, we like that. Loads of XP dropping, which is great. Potentially means lots of things. Right, fireball. Let's go fireball. Uh, what is that? Is that going to be health or something? Ouch. Oh, freeze. And a bomb. My word, there's a lot of graphical effects on it. I like it. Okay, hammer strike, more damage. Yeah, let's take that one. We've still got uh, one more space for weapons, I think. No, two more space for weapons, one more space for passives. I've no idea if the things I've collected will synergize, but we're going to keep trying. Ouch. I've got quite a bit of health. And I keep losing it. Right, power stone could be good. Protective shield, holy loop. A holy light orb that emits rage hit. Yeah, we'll take that one. Freeze. Uh, more defense could be really good. Not much I can do about that. Just going to rotate around this tree for a little while. Right. We have got the last 12 minutes on this. Um, let's go for the fountain upgrade. Okay. Upgrades are getting a little bit slower now. Um, 
alchemy powder? Let's take that. Ow. Oh, what's this warning? Why am I in Star Trek? What's going on? Red alert, Captain. Oh, God, hello. There'd be bosses. Ouch. Oh, you're rather large. I don't really have any range stuff. Um, let's upgrade the fountain damage. Oh, hello. Just gonna flame him a little bit. Right, fountain count. Yes. Oh, hello. What's this then? Oh, okay. That's a rather fun effect. We get fountain. Oh, okay, so it's just recreated my fountain. That's okay. Chain lightning. God, we all know I like chain lightning. Or I love the chain lightning. The effect is good. The way it looks, the way uh, way it does damage. Kill everything. Uh, let's do even more hammer strikes. Those little fireball and dragon things are pretty cool. Right, off go the gobos. More gobos. Haven't had to dodge much. More belts? Or holy dupe damage? We'll do holy dupe damage. This feels a little... Uh, oftentimes you get these action roguelikes or these bullet hells, whatever you want to call them, reverse bullet hells, I should say, and they feel a little stale straight out of the gate. But this one, I quite like this one. Ouch. I got hit just as I said I like the game. I no longer like it. I'm joking. Collect all of my XP. Uh, I don't know what that does. Um, but we're going to take more fireballs. Uh, we're going to lower the cooldown on the fireballs. Um, okay, that's good. Finally got out of that space. Oh, what are you guys? Minecraft. Don't sue me. Uh, more bounce. Yes. Oh, there's so many more of them. How much I can do about it? Can I have some XP, please? Oh, mighty impact. When any weapon reaches its maximum level and is equipped with the corresponding skill or weapon, it can be upgraded to a super weapon. Even more powerful attack methods. Let's go mighty impact. Oh. That is mighty. Um, let's do the holy loop. I'm massive disco ball. do like that mighty impact that's nice um let's do cooldown i right, have another boss coming holy bombard can't cast cleansing pillars on randomly selected points that explode after a while this is very colorful Can I see a health bar for him? No. Uh, let's do more chain lightning. Right, now he's dead. Okay, we get a, another wiggly wiggly thing. And we get a card, which is Holy Cross. Okay. Um... Let's do another one. It's another revive and chain lightning. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. Oh, 
I like the fact that I'm just a walking disco now. <laughs> It even sounds like it makes music. Come on, nearly another level. Okay, uh, oh, there are four choices this time. Let's go Poisonous Blade could be good. Getting surrounded now. Okay, we are slowly making our way out. There are so many enemies. Right, um, critical damage, alchemy powder. Let's do alchemy powder. Taking damage, which I shouldn't do. Definitely want that for the uh, ooh, thunder strike. Calls lightning on enemies, scatter electric currents in all directions. And fireball. I'll have some of that. You know what I need is a way to combine like water and electricity. That'd be awesome. Uh, let's do alchemy powder. Alright, can I get a, a way through anywhere? Need to increase the speed of the mighty hammer. Uh, I think this is just designed for you to get overwhelmed. I'm hoping it's not. Oh goody. Back into uh, Star Trek the original series. Hello there. Oh, there's two of you. I am losing drastic amounts of health. So much so that the sound's gone. I don't know what that was. It went bing. But it didn't feel like health. That's, that's a revive, I think. Right, um, let's do... I don't know how many re revives I've got. Uh, let's do some critical chance. I'm already dead again. I believe that's another revive, maybe? Taking so much damage. Right, he's dead. Go. Okay. Uh, let's take that. And we get another wibbly wobbly thing. And we get. Okay. Uh, let's go. Steel armor. Definitely want that. Steel armor. Steel armor. <laughs> steel armor. Right, I have a fair bit more steel armor now. Looks a little calmer now. I say as I get absolutely molested. These guys are tough. That's him done. I've just realised I'm at level 43. Four. Uh, let's do a quick chance. Uh, 
think I've got one minute fifteen left. Oh goody. Out. When it gets to this point, I don't stand a chance, I don't think. Now the tree. The tree didn't get me, the tree stopped me. Trying to find a way through. Next to impossible. Oh boy. Right. Um, let's do critical damage there. Ow. Okay. Right. Okay. Problems. Very little health. Oh joy. That is my 12 minutes and I've just died. Okay, we've got loads of achievements, so um, they are scrolling up my screen at the moment. Okay, so let's continue. Got mighty impact. Holy bombard. Thunder strike. New reward. Okay, so if we go to the achievements, you can see everything I've uh, got, and I have to collect things for it. So as far as I can see, there is no collect all. Uh, no, and then collect, collect, and collect, and collect. So, now I've got 1935 poor coins, whatever they are. Um, so, I'm guessing if I go to the archives, I can unlock more weapons, maybe? No. Just see all the pickups and things. Okay. So, let's hit start. Do I get to unlock other things here then? There's more. Ah, I've got more talent, so I can. Ah, okay. So there's lots of things that I can unlock here. But I can't unlock that. Oh, I need to unlock that first. Okay. The other option is, let's go with Inukagi. Let's start with him. Uh, in fact, let's... Let's give him a few more bits. So let's give him some damage. Give him a bit of movement speed. Give him a bit of HP regen. Uh, what CDR? Cooldown something? Range. Max HP. Right, let's do one of them. One of them. One of them. One of them. And then we can't afford any of these, but that's fine. That's the enhancement specialization. Let's go. Quaking Earth again. We didn't quite get there. We'll give it one more go. I can hit multiple enemies, that's quite nice. Right, let's do more shuriken damage. Uh, boomerang dagger, we are doing um, range, so it makes sense to do that as well. That's a, it's like a Yondu thing. Chain lightning, we had that last time, so we'll try that next time. Cheval de Frise, okay. Let's do pickup range. That boomerang dagger isn't very good yet. Maybe it'll get better as we level it up. Uh, Ningu, dash distance, dash count. I'm going to take steel armor because I feel like that's going to be important again. Even with a bit of HP regen, I want to be able to do it. Fireballs, again, more range is probably good. Ooh, you, that's the, the dragon. Uh, let's take Air Blast. I don't think I had that last time. Uh, let's go... Let's take the Ningu. It's obviously offering it me for a reason. Air Blast is pretty good. Um, we will take another Air Blast. Oh, you didn't die. Need a bit more damage, really. Effective area could be good. Let's 
that's better. We're now getting more regular attacks going out. There we go. Big old chunk of XP there. Uh, fountain, we had that last time. Let's take the spatial ring one more time. Trying to get a different weapon, hopefully. But if not, we'll take one of the ones we already had. There's Holy Loop again. Uh, let's take the cooldown. Could be really good. Hey, okay, go on. Let's get me to another level and see what we get offered. If it is a weapon, and it's one we've already had, we might just have to take it. Fountain again. Go on, we'll take it. It's not what I wanted, but it'll do. And again, it's, it's range technically. It's not something that's melee. So it is a completely different build to what we had before. Uh, well, let's go. Ah, I see. So it tells me along the bottom what it synergizes with. So that synergizes with the hammer. And that synergizes with the holy loop, which I don't have. That synergizes with something I may have. At least that's what I'm understanding from there. Let's take the longsword. So now if I start, does it tell me what it synergizes with? I don't think so. No, I don't know. We we'll just have to chance it. That was very close. Uh, let's do Boomerang Dagger. Get more of those. That's nice. The Mega Yondu. Hey, freaking poppins, y'all. Right. Being aborted by the Klingons. Uh, let's do the Air Blast. Could be really good. In fact, the Shuriken. That was health. First boss shouldn't really hit me, at least not now, anyway. I have to do something stupid. Um, let's just give it some more fireballs. Oh, okay, I did something stupid. I've got very little health. Right, boomerang dagger, more damage. Let's go. Got a wibbly wobbly timey wimey thing, and we get fountain. That's fine. I don't mind it. Um, let's do more air blasts. That's better. Hopefully I can get some more of that, and it will just be a complete blast around me. I wonder if I could chase it. Doesn't seem like I can. Um, let's take some more longsword. lost him now. Don't know if it's possible to kill him. Just a uh, hope of mine. Okay. Um, more damage for the shuriken could be good, but just more damage overall. I think we're in quite a good position now. We'll have to find out in about a minute or so whether we've actually got a build with our first or prop next proper boss. Uh, let's do more boomerang, I guess, because I like those. That now feels like a proper weapon. Very nice. Right, come on. Give me another level. Uh, the flight speed? Maybe not. We've already got steel armor once, so let's take it again. That's a lot of experience. 
Let's do more shuriken damage. Right, uh, yeah, let's increase or decrease the cooldown of our fireballs. Again, I could do with more of those, but I will get them. Shuriken cooldown as well is good. Right, air blast, yeah, more damage on that is good. Mind you, it's all good. It's never really going to be a bad thing. More damage. More cooldown, or less cooldown, I should say. Here we go. Star Trek time again. How did that hit me? I beg to differ, sir. Now that hit me. That was my own fault. Right, where's my wibbly wobbly thing? I've got three of them this time. Let's go. Card, card, card. And we get ooh, a Fuma Shuriken. Throw several giant shurikens. Each Fuma Shuriken will also launch Kunai in all directions during a dash. And Boomerang Dagger. Fireball count. Oh, that's very nice. I am a whirly, whirly bird of death. I need more dashes. Unfortunately, I have taken all my upgrades for that. Swift Dagger launches multiple permanent flying daggers. Permanent? Oh my. You be it. Burn them all. Can't burn trees with it though. I'll have another one, thank you. Notice how you never get these with bosses around. Uh, let's do the cooldown. <laughs> now I need a skill to make them bounce. I'm enjoying this build a lot. Um, let's take some armor because I'm going to be dashing into things stupidly. But everything dies. I say everything dies. Lots of things die. This is just too fun. It's just stuff flying everywhere. Uh, fireball damage? Yes. Okay, um, pick up range. Kunai could spit out a great. More fountain. Definitely need more dash cooldown or better dash cooldown. Dash distance. <laughs> so I can do it on pretty much every other throw. Yep, more cooldown. Whales devour. Creates a huge water spout beneath a randomly selected enemy to deal damage, send it flying, and cause large AoE damage when it lands on the... Can I scroll down on you, please? No, nope, we're going to take it instead. Um, let's do dash count. Thank you. Last time.
Okay, uh, I'm enjoying this far too much. Dash distance, let's go. Oh, we called the boss, good. We got a, a wibbly wobbly thing again. We get long sword, that's fine. Uh, dash distance again, we got another cooldown. He's gone. That spout thing, the waterfall, water spout thing, is just ooh, it's good. Alright, another level up. Spatial ring. Did we kill him? I don't know if we did. Might have just despawned when I went off the screen. It's just so much XP all over the place. Need a magnet. Uh, we'll take Spatial Ring. It'll help me a little bit. Hello. I killed everything. Oh, permanent flying daggers is fun as well. All right, we're about a minute 45 left for the boss. And we've got pretty much all the upgrades now. And another boss. Right, are we max level now? 48? No, probably got two more. Small amount of coins or healing flask. I think we're going to have to go for the... Uh, being able to see my health here would be great. We're going to go for the coins. We get a card. Small amount of coins. Yeah, so 48 seems to be the highest. Highest practical, anyway. We're at 11.39. We're going to get the alarm in about 10 seconds. There we go. What is said boss? Is a large bomb. Oh my god, I can't go out that way. He is taking a rather large amount of time to die. Not the longest amount of time, though. I should be able to kill him, because his, his attacks aren't massively strong, although he is spawning things now as well, which is not great. He's spawning a lot of things, and there's goo on the floor. Okay, if you could stop spawning things so I can kill you, please. Ow, something got me then. Okay, we're down to no more ants. It's just him. Don't do a huge amount of damage to him. Some things do, some things don't. But he is toast. Oh boy. Right, return to camp. And we get some more achievements. Hack and slash, uh, lush green carpet, world eater. We will continue with those.
Right, archives. Okay, cool. That's fine. I don't mind that. And we're going to map as well. Okay. Fuma Shuriken, Swift Dagger. Wells of our giant cannon fires one slow moving cannonball in the specified direction. Temporal Shout. Golden Radiance creates golden glow around you to damage and slow down enemies. I like that one. That's garlic. Uh, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Right, so we're going to achievements. Let's just collect these. Lovely, thank you very much. That's loads of things. So, when we play this again, which I will do, possibly on stream, um, hopefully the day I release this video, I should be streaming. So, uh, check the uh, link down in the description for that, both Twitch and YouTube, of course. Um, it's Twilight Survivors. It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Um, check out the links in the description for it. And I will see you very soon for another video on the Dark Channel Play channel. Bye-bye.